Video number one, the plinth. As with all the videos that we'll be watching, it's always keep in mind that you need to open up your 2D drawing that we hand sketched. It is from this drawing that we'll get all the information we need to draw up our 3D. So as you already have drawn this, so you need to have access to this, especially the dimensions. As you see, we'll use all of our information that we put on this drawing, especially the floor plan, the dimensions all around, those are very critical, and our elevation plans, both the front and the right side or whatever side we use. So you'll be using your actual drawing for this. I've used mine just to give you a, uh, a series of, of examples to what to use. Now you can watch this video and take notes or you can watch this video and stop and, um, and try yourself, whatever you prefer. All right, so we have this always at hand. We're gonna open up SketchUp, choose a template and as I've learned that this is probably the best template to use, simple template meters. It helps us uh, measure smaller than a meter. This is a better template, so just take a word on it for, for now, and we'll start like we normally do. All right, first thing I like to do whenever I start up my app program, SketchUp, I like to use uh, a different tool palette, which is a large set. This gives us more tools to access and uh, it, I always get in the habit of this. We'll use the first tool. It's a selection tool. We'll click on the man and we'll delete it. You can see that. We'll adjust our, our drawing surface here. As you see the pan tool, just hold the left button and you can move it around. If you've got a finger pad, you just move your finger. If you've got your mouse, you can do it also. All right, so we're going to start with the first tool here, which is probably one of the most popular, a rectangle. We're going to start at our origin. We're going to click, hold the button down. We drag it out, as you can see, and release, and we have a rectangle. Before you do anything else, then you can just type in the numbers of the dimensions, which is first the length. We have eight, and then comma, and then you can put your width in is seven. Those of you will have different types of measurements according to your own design and you can put it accordingly. All right, as you see, our drawing has gone outside our, uh, our monitor uh, site. So what we'll do is click on this and it kind of keeps us within the framework of our screen. All right, move it around. This is another navigation tool. It's an orbit tool and then you can just move it around as you need. All right, another function we're going to learn is to start off with the top view. We're going to click camera. We're going to scroll down and let's do the top view. And as you can see, it's a little bit big. We'll click on this. And if you want it smaller, we'll use this magnifying glass and drag it. If you got a mouse, you use your little roller button in the center of the wheel and you can adjust it the size you want. All right, a couple new tools we're going to start with. To check our measurements, you can use a tape measure. And you click on the tape measure, you hold it down on the line, I use the outside line, and I drag it across, keep holding down the left button, and then release it, snap, you see I've got the measurement 8. Click on the outside line, click down, hold it, drag it up. You notice that dotted or dashed line, that's going to be important later, we'll, we'll learn about that and then release that. And you can see you've got eight by seven. Another way to, another tool and another way to verify your measurements is use your dimensioning tool. Later on you use this quite a bit. One of the nice benefits of CAD uh, applications is that you don't have to draw all the lines. They're already set for you. What you do is you wanna find the dimension of this line here. You start in one little corner Click down and then drag it across to the other corner. Click again and drag it out and there you have the dimensions. The same thing, we'll do it again. Click down at the end point, drag it across, click at the other point and then just bring it up and you can see your dimensions. The last thing we'll do in this little 
uh, video before we move to the next. We're going to, this is our basic layout of our house, the dimensions, the length, and the width. And so we want to extrude that and make a little plinth. And whenever we use this, we use a special tool called the push-pull. And this is another very popular. Notice when I bring this, this uh, tool across the surface there, it highlights. That's the area that it's going to actually make it uh, extrude or 3D. So when I bring it in, you click down, you hold down, and then you, if you got your pad, you just move your finger up and down, and then release. And then I, before I do anything else, no clicking, I just like to put the dimensions in, and this will be 0.5. And there we go. We have our plinth, and we're going to close it off right now, and we'll start the next video. But you can stop. Let's practice those little uh, tools that you learned in this series, and then we'll be ready for the next video.